Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the game between the Hurricanes and the Sixers, and we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you more insights on how he feels. The pitch will be at Bellary as well as the best base team that you can make for this one. Nikhil Bhai, what are your thoughts on the game and how do you see it panning out? Uh, I think the randomness will continue, and I think we have all accepted it. So there is no room there for any kind of. Chalo, ye kar lete, wo kar lete. We'll stick to the form guys, guys who are taking wickets most games, hopefully batting in the right spots. And uh, they could, there was a day in 2023 when Steve Smith scored back to back turns. Steve O'Keefe took four wickets, Aaron Fungiso took four wickets. I have, uh, I don't think I saw this day coming after 2022, but it has. So maybe this tells you that can't buy class, can't buy experience. And when people everywhere else are doing random things, you should do tried and tested performers because in the form. Mein. The point of this was the form. In SOK second is we always have a wicket, we know. So I hope that Rashid Khan and the rest of them are listening and they also get, get back among the wickets very soon. If you are saying so good, you are saying so good. Yes, hopefully that's the case. And uh, first up, let's look at the venue conditions for this game. So, venue conditions and as far as Hobart is concerned, we have seen most of the wickets going to Pacers and we have a lot of Pacers available from both of these sides. So, that I guess will be the order of the day in terms of being able to rack up the right paces in your side. And there are a few out of form batters across both these teams. So it will be interesting to see how the, those match up against these pace bowlers. Nikhil, why you see it going that way or any other thoughts? Because like you mentioned, there are certain guys like Steve O'Keefe who are still taking wickets against the odds. Yeah, but the uh, conditions are when you ski, as you hold it, we are back to that stage where chasing has become the preferred mode because how difficult batting has been in the first half. So if that is the that is the situation tomorrow or the on the game day, then I think that will what will continue for most sides. So if uh, hurricanes are chasing, then you know who to back in the chase and vice versa as well. So I think new ball bowling for both sides will be critical. So I think that is how I'm still going because last case sorry matches that jitne bhi hue, I think. So that just tells you that people have been able to chase better than setting a, setting a score. Yes, very much agree to that. And now let's look at the base team for this game. So we start with the keeping section and we have gone with Matthew Wade and Josh Filippi in this section, both of them have been in good touch. Ben McDermott has not shown any form yet, but obviously the class player can come good at any point. In the batting, we've gone with Steve Smith and Tim David. Now, when you look at the rest of this batting or the rest of the batting options, you see inconsistency across the batting options that we have. And hence, we've opted for just two of these options because we see that we have a quartet of pace options across both teams. Nikhil, why, if you had to try any of these batters, who would you probably go for? In a chase, I'd still go for Ben McD because I feel uh, if there's a visualization of my chase, that if there's a chase, that Ben McD may be able to get in a good score, then I would try to try them because their stadium record is decent. In 29 matches, mein 888 runs, which is a handy average as well. So, it is okay. And up time as a combinations bundle, you'll have to pick hmm. a few such picks where you have value return. So we take a Josh Kobe Amnil, but there is a left armor waiting in the wings to bolt to him up top. So what cheese be up could be a key chan parigi, uske alava, to do standard picks and void angi. Tunka Bapis all rounders or bowlers that pick karoge to options have keep us coffee. Uh, Moses had a decent outing last game, batting first. Smith Bhaiya ko te baare mein, the less said the better. So, maa pe masti karke matam nahi hai. You have Silk as well. Uh, Silk bol raha hon. Yeah, Silk bhi hai aapke paas try karne ko agar pace. He plays decently. So, pace ke saam mein hmm. unka option achha jata hai. Par ek aur option hai, wo mein grand league le bachcha kera karo. 
<laughs> yes, and then in the all rounders, we have gone with Sean Abbott, Fahim Ashraf, and Hayden Kerr. We expect full, full overs from most of these guys, and hence we've opted for them. While in the bowling, we have gone with Ellis, Meredith, and Ben Dwashes along with uh, Joel Paris. Now, again, like we mentioned, that we expect pace to hold the key, and hence we have opted for all the pacers that are available to us along with the batters who are in form. So, this is a proper form based team. Even the captain, vice captain, are guys who have been taking wickets at the death and in the power play. So, we have not messed around too much in that regard because we are saving the differentials for the next mm. section. And before that, Nikhil Bhai, what are your thoughts on the spinners on this track? Do you feel like they might be of good effect in the second innings? Or what do you feel about the fact with someone like Ben McDermott also coming up against Steve O'Keefe? How do you see all those matchups panning out? Yeah, absolutely. That matchup definitely will come. Uh, but the catch that we also have to see is how often has SOK done well uh, outside of SCG? पुणे में अच्छा किया वो मुझे मालूम है पूरे इंडिया को मालूम है पर इन द कंडीशन से में हॉबार्ट हाउ इट इज आर आर देयर इज देयर इनफ हेल्प फॉर हिम एंड देखो आपको पहले बॉल पे अच्छा बॉल मिल सकता है सो दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू कैन कंट्रोल मच बट अदरवाइज इफ द स्कोर इज इन मच एंड इफ ही कैन एंश्योर कि भाई वहां से कोई इशू नहीं होता क्योंकि उनका मैचअप इज टेरिबल 15 बॉल में 9 रन और दो बार आउट हो चुके हैं वो तो इसी के लिए वो अभी बेस टीम में हमारे नहीं है पर दैट इज द रिस्क दैट As I said, maybe in a chase, I'll still take him, hoping that he will take them out, and uh, then he's able to put up a score. Because usually, here there is no help here, so it has to be hmm. a mistake or a very good ball for you to get a wicket if it's with spin. Yes, fair enough, absolutely. Now let's look at our Grand League picks for this game. Go for it, boy. तो देखिए एक जो पिक जो मुझे लगता है कि डेफिनेटली बहुत लोग और होबार्ट भी ट्राई नहीं कर रही है जो उन्हें करना चाहिए और वो है डासी शॉट आई डोंट नो इतना नीचे बैटिंग करके क्या ही मिल रहा है एंड आई नो ही डिड नॉट कम अप वेल राइट अप टॉप बट मे बी देव टू यूज इन बेटर बिकॉज इवन इन द गेम दैट दे लॉस्ट इन द लास्ट वन ही डिड नॉट फील लाइक अ टीम दैट इज वेरी श्योर ऑफ द टैक्टिक्स अगेन we all see the game differently so mujhe lagta hai darsh shot is a very good person to try see them to unka record acha hai and that also works in so i think he has he has over 1000 runs at the venue to idhar agar aap unko use nahi karoge to kahan pe use karoge to a surprise promotion may be up to who knows if that can happen uh, nahi hota hai to definitely you always have ls made it and other guys to try to ye ho gayi hamari uh, hurricanes ke pick From the Sixers, जैसे as जैसे मैंने कहा, uh, I was very keen on trying Moises in the last game, और वो चले भी. Uh, इस गेम में Silk I feel can do the job, but I'm not ruling out Dan Christensen also randomly coming and doing something. क्योंकि ये time ऐसा आ गया अभी कि they are पहले भी Dan Christensen was getting key overs in random hmm. matches without much impetus, without without much need. तो अगर यहाँ पे ऐसा होता है कि they see कि भाई कंडीशंस ऐसी हैं कि डैन क्रिस्टन की बॉलिंग को हेल्प हो सकती है तो आई थिंक डैन इज अ वेरी गुड ऑप्शन टू ट्राई तो बैटर तो नहीं है वो पर ऑलराउंडर uh, तो डेफिनेटली है यस फेयर इनफ एंड आई हैव बीन बैकिंग डैन क्रिस्टन इन जीएल टीम्स इन द वाइल्ड सो होपफुली दैट रोटेशन कम्स ऑफ सून माय टू पिक्स फॉर दिस गेम फर्स्ट अप फ्रॉम द सिक्सर्स इज जैक्सन बर्ड He's not played the last few games, but if there's a place for them to drop one spinner and get the extra pacer, it should be here. He's also dismissed Wade a few times, and he's also a Tasmania homeboy, so he'll want to do well against his home franchise. And uh, my pick from the Hurricanes is already in our base team, Joel Paris, and uh, the reasons as mentioned, positive matchup against Felipe, and he bowled very well in the last game. Also bowled one over at the death. and i don't see that changing because they seem to be using meredith more as an enforcer in the power play and then one one over in the surge and one in the death and ellis goes to in the death so paris is probably going to fit in one there because fahim is not generally bowling post 16th over so i think he can play a good role in that regard too bilkul aur aapko thode just numbers agar aap basic chahiye to asok ne 11 match mein 8 wicket liye versus this side Just historically speaking, Sean Abbott remains the best bowler there. 
तो बेन डॉशेस इज अ सेकंड द लिस्ट एंड दैट इज व्हेयर आई वांटेड टू गेट एट कि डॉशेस एंड हिडन केयर बोथ हैवंट हैड अ गेम टू रिमेंबर इन अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट अगेन दैट द प्रॉब्लम विद देम आल्सो इज द यूसेज कहां पे उन्हें यूज किया जा रहा है जैसे इंडिया वाशिंगटन सुंदर को ऑलमोस्ट एज एन आफ्टर थॉट खिलाड़ी है दैट इज हाउ आई थिंक दे आर यूजिंग हियर एज वेल तो यूसेज विल बी क्रिटिकल तो आई थिंक दीस टू आर आल्सो हैंडी ऑप्शन फॉर यू टू ट्राई स्पेशली वाइल बॉलिंग फर्स्ट अगर आपको लगता है कि मूवमेंट है so these two also are good enough to use that yes absolutely and the, the reason for us essentially sticking with uh, someone like Sean Abbott is captain's because along with the fact that he has positive matchups his form is good he's dismissed short four times wait three times so all of it is working in his favor hence we didn't want to take the unnecessary risk but if you feel like someone else will do the job feel yeah, free absolutely. to back them we hope all of you have a great game ensure you had hit the bell icon before you leave all the good luck to you have a good game guys see you soon